It was the summer of 2005. I visited Vietnam. Here, I saw the coexistence between the enthusiasm of the people who sustain this nation's sudden growth and the rich natural environment, which has long observed this tumultuous country. The fantastic view of Ha Long Bay, a world heritage which is the pride of Vietnam. Vietnam, blessed with rich nature, was moving towards a new country among its rapid development. Thirty years after the end of the Vietnam War, I wanted to make sure I knew Vietnam's history, which has a tendency to become hidden in the shadows of rapid economic development. This is a facility where the children who still suffer from the effects of defoliant live. They were striving to learn the skills necessary for self-sufficiency. One person told me, it is fun to learn something every day. I am again made aware that nothing begins without peace. Education is necessary for a country's development. The renewal of a decrepit elementary school full of hazards and a supplement of new desks and chairs were being carried out by Japan's ODA. These are the dreams of students who are now able to learn without a worry. In the midst of rapid economic growth, the environment tends to be neglected. Vietnam is not an exception, and exhaust fumes from the proliferation of cars and motorbikes may soon become a serious problem. Ha Long Bay, with its world heritage status, was not an exception either. Currently, the environment lost by pollution is being recovered and efforts to improve the citizens' environmental awareness are being carried out through United Nations volunteers. The reforestation of the mangrove, which is the home of much wildlife, is one of those efforts. The focus of environmental conservation has also turned to wild fowls, protecting the bird's natural habitat it is the same as protecting our own habitat. Vietnam has started investing energy into environmental education. A lotus flower adorning the lake which surrounds the island where the birds fly. It was as if the flower blooming from the depths of the lake was suggesting Vietnam's past and future.